self validated, give a fuck what them say. I'm self validated, give a fuck what him say. I'm self validated, cause it's all up to me. I'm thinking about success as I'm falling asleep. And everything I want come crawling to me. Fuck that, now I come jogging to me. I remember every day felt like a drought. Now I'm finna make it rain, baby, clear it out. I remember searching for the coins in the couch. Now I'm sitting pretty count blues in the house. I remember I was. Let's get straight into the video. I mean, like, if you're new here, you might be like, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? I'm gonna tell you, not a damn thing. Bitch, I'm living and thriving and, 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 and pulling up like a real nigga. Anyways, oh, let me stop bullshit. Today's video is really about a post that I made in my Discord the other day, and I just want to elaborate on it in video form. I made a post saying how or why Neville Goddard is one of the best manifestors and why it was so easy for him. And this ties in with um, taking social media breaks uh, and why that helps you. So let's hop straight into it. Um, I haven't said it in my previous videos, but if you need coaching links below, not join the Go House, which is this channel right here. You feel me? Not no membership or nothing. Just join the Go House. Be, you know, be a go. Anyways, um, so I'm going to start with why taking social media breaks is good from time to time um and then i'll lead into the point on why neville goddard was one of the best manifestors because they both go hand in hand they tie together like this they go together like chicken strips and fries you know what i'm saying um so basically what i was saying was social media breaks especially tiktok i want to say tiktok and the way social media is um set up now the way tiktok's instagram reels all that are set up Whoever made it knows exactly what they're doing. And, and this is not to say I don't be on TikTok or whatever, but I have certain words blocked and muted from my TikTok feed. So my TikTok feed is typically pretty healthy. You feel me? Uh, so here's what I'm saying. Y'all know how, if you, and if, you, if you're new here, I'm going to explain this real quick. When I tell people to visualize, when I tell people to affirm or do inner conversations, I tell them keep it short, easily repeatable, easy to remember, right? And how are TikToks and Instagrams, most Instagram, Reels and TikToks created. They're short, easily repeatable, easily remembered, right? So those impress on your subconscious very quickly, especially if you're interacting with it, you're watching it over and over again, you're commenting on a certain style of, um, you know, content. Your For You page or your Explore page feeds you more of that. The same way with manifesting, when you're constantly giving your attention to something, your reality shows you more of it, right? Y'all would call it signs, birds before land, things of that nature. So they're, bro, whoever created them, they know what the fuck they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So my whole point is when you're in a, a place where like you find manifesting hard, you find it hard to focus, you feel like there's a lot of bullshit in your mind, I kid you not, taking a one week, one to two week social media break will help you tremendously. Because the amount of things that easily impress on your subconscious is not even funny, bro. Like, especially if you're, um, let's say if you're manifesting an SP and you're interacting with content about um, men or women cheating, men or women not being shit, man versus bear. Um, uh, there's so many toxic conversations around relationships that people have. Or if you're manifesting money and you hear people, you're constantly interacting with, oh, the economy this, we're broke, this, that, and third. Telling you a social media break is probably needed and it helps a lot because it stops that bullshit from continually impressing on your subconscious. And that's another thing. A lot of people think impressing your subconscious is something that's hard to do. It's not. I just gave you all the recipe, the formula on how they're impressing your subconscious with a lot of bullshit. So you know how to impress yours. So when you stop letting all this social media and even um, sometimes it's even good to stop watching a lot of Netflix. You feel me? Just for a week. You start seeing how. When your mind's clear and it's not getting impressed with bullshit constantly, you can easily start manifesting a lot of the things you want. And it ties into the point about me saying Neville was one of the best manifestors, and this is why. In the time period that this man lived in, they didn't have no TikTok. They didn't have no Instagram, social media. All they had was TVs, and even then, their TVs probably had goddamn 13 channels. No bullshit. I'm not saying that's a fact, but... Blood, blood, blood was around in the time where he got drafted to World War II. This tells you how long ago this, this motherfucker around. He was old enough to get drafted in World War II. My nigga, Neville was unk, Gramps. You feel me? 
Uh, so they probably had about 10 channels maximum, maybe 13. Anyways, the reason I say Neville was so good at it, because essentially when you ain't got a bunch of distractions, he ain't have no social media to scroll, not a bunch of movies he could watch, this, that, and the third. All this man could do was make his own little TikToks in his head and repeat them over and over again. You feel me? Visualizing the same little scene over and over again. That was his TikTok. That was his uh, Instagram reel. That was his social media dopamine hit. You feel me? So that's why it was so easy for him. I don't care what nobody say. I figured it out. Like, yes, he had the knowledge, just like we do. And technically, we got more knowledge than he do now. No bullshit. Only difference was he didn't have a bunch of distractions. So when he got bored, what was he doing? When he got bored or he wanted something, he wanted a dopamine hit, what did he have to do? He had to make his own little TikToks in his head, which ties into my point about deleting social media or getting off social media for a little bit. And you'll see why some of these OG metaphysicians were so good at it. They didn't have nothing else to distract them, no. Nothing. So when they got bored, they wanted something, all they could do was create their own little TikToks in their head. And don't let that go over y'all, y'all, <laughs> don't let that go over y'all head. The little visualizations he's talking about, inner conversations, those was his TikToks. That was his source of entertainment, whether people want to admit it or not. You feel me? Therefore, <laughs> yeah, y'all get my point. So if this is if this video was for you or you found it helpful or you know someone that would find it helpful, send it to their punk ass. Um, apply it yourself. Take a week off social media. Take a week or two off social media and watch how easy it is for you to start impressing your subconscious with the things that you want to experience rather than the things that you don't. You feel me? You get me? Um, yeah, <laughs> as always, it's been your favorite show, Bang Bang. Your favorite show, Bangalore. Your favorite show, Blakey Blow. Huh? Keep it motherfucking funky, nigga. Oh, yeah. And go listen to my music. I'm, I'm a shameless plug. Go listen to my music. I'm dropping LOA music. And don't think, I know some of y'all might be like, oh, he can only rap because it's LOA. No, nigga, I can rap on some regular shit too. Don't get it twisted. I'm real life talented. Know what I'm saying? But go listen to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link in the description, along with all the other links that that's for coaching, all of that. Support a nigga. I support y'all. You feel me? And it ain't ass. It's actually tough to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Not tough as in oh, nigga, turn this shit off. But tough as in like, bro, you gonna gonna be sitting there like this? You ever? <laughs> Anyways, I catch y'all in the next one, man. That's enough of my yap for today. <laughs>